What up, it's John, it's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Now, before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black and we're playing a dirt bike game. Now we're back with episode four to road to 100 and road to top 100 in rank. Sorry, had a little seizure right there. But we're on Winchester, the longest freaking track of the Papiti freaking rotation. Holy moly, donut shop! I hate racing this track, and I hope anybody else. Now, here's this weird thing that's been going on. Let me know now in the comment section. Um, if you try to put it in gear before you get the 15 second card and you're getting jump starts for some reason Because it'll like literally disappear everybody and then you get jump started But yeah, go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe button. Let's get right into it We're in the husk of Arna 250 Winchester. Can we get the whole shot? Embrace the calm within the chaos and head over to strikehardapparel.com and grab some of these great graphic design t-shirts and hoodies and accessories. I just partnered up with them, so go ahead and use code KELSO at checkout for 5% off, and I hope to see you rock some of this merch, man. Peace. Dude, everybody just disappeared on the freaking line. I thought I literally got jump started. All right, can we can we ease up? Oh, got a little bump. There we go. What up, pimp? What are you slowing down for? It's okay. Send that, John. Dude, don't you start, Smithy. Don't you start, Smithy. Uh-oh, trouble. Down for the count. Takes out the Honda. Thank you, sir. Holy moly. Oh, man. How do you guys, like, really feel about this track rotation, though, with Winchester? You think they should switch this out with, like, Farm 14 or something? Switch this one out with, like, Farm 14 or Paris Raceway or something? Paris uh, MX I think they should man like this tracks good and all but I feel like I feel like at times dude, it's just like damn 15 minutes later you're like holy moly donut shop but yeah I don't know that's my two cents on that it's not a bad track like I said it's just kind of very flat and you're like yo I'm just like spinning laps on I don't know but man oh man if you guys have not tried out this Husqvarna setup dude it is in in my channel the Husqvarna setup is on my channel. Hit that thing up. Shout out to ESR, MTN, and Weddo Racing. Shout out to StrikeHardApparel.com. Thank you for sponsoring with me, hitting me up. Absolutely crazy menaces to society. I appreciate y'all. As we try to take the absolute dub and stay consistent on Winchester. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but lately in the last two days I've been streaming Papiti like uh, at night. And every time I get to club and I end up going off the track and trying to reset out of the gate, it spawns you in Narnia. Is that just me? Or is that like just my game? Or is that everybody, dude? Like that needs to be fixed. ASAP, no freaking Rocky, man. Just like, I don't, ooh, almost a front tuck. But yeah, I just don't understand it, dude. It, it, it makes no sense to me. But we're gonna be coming past lap one, cruising for a bruising. No, no, no. Let's keep it under control. Let's keep it under control. Here we go. Now, shout out to this guy named Miko. He races for Voodoo Racing. Dude, we had an absolute battle last night on stream on this map, dude. It was absolutely crazy. I was leading the whole time, and then right there at the beginning, like, doing the turn right before the starting gates, I literally front talked, dude. It was so savage. Such a sad time. But he ended up picking up the dub, and, uh, yeah, shout out to him, man. It was an absolute freaking banger. But... Still leading. The only thing that's going to kill me now is either the tough blocks or me OJing and literally turning or front sucking. Oh, well, we got a pretty good lead. Let's keep it. Also, man, almost at 750 subs. Dude, you guys are absolutely bangers for that, man. Absolutely killing it, man. Road to 800. Hopefully, we can hit that 800 by the end of the week. Appreciate you guys just banging out all that great support, dude. And join my Discord. Um, join Weddo's Racing Discord. Both will be down in the description below. I hang out in both of those. You can come say hi, say what's up, especially when I'm streaming. Usually I'll pop in, try to play with as much people as I can. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm just here for you guys. Here for you guys. You guys are amazing. Keep up the great support. And my biggest thing is I'm at 350 hours. And before I had left to Hawaii, I was doing a little bit of Supercross around my 100 hours. Um, and I was getting the groove of it. It's like it's like I don't know how to ride super. It's not that I don't know how to ride supercross. I should say, it's about being consistent in supercross. I feel like you just need like an, your own eight. Like you need your own 500 hours plus in supercross to feel some type of way. And I feel like you are a goat at this game if you can complete supercross. So I don't know. Should I should I start supercross practice at least like an hour or two a day on like just an easy track just to get the flow? 
I just don't know what bike to use because I know I don't want to use a 450. And every time I get to the Honda or the Yamaha, it is just not reliable at times for me. And I tried my Husky, and for some reason, my Husky literally slaps, dude. It is in, it is a different mode, like a different mindset when I get on this Husky. But it's probably just a how long I've been riding this bike and the consistency. So I don't know. To each their own for sure. But I've converted a couple people to the Husky and so far have had nothing but great com like great comments about it. Other than they say in third gear, you slide out a lot. And I do see that on um, certain places. If you're coming down and you try to stay in third gear and you're like literally at the low end of third gear. Yeah, the tire is going to slide. So like fluctuating between ooh, ooh, not the billboard fluctuating between third and second gear is really going to give you that, you know, where you need to like i guess be the best at so kind of play with it for sure i think 41's trying to catch me here my boy kuda shout out to kuda i've seen him in multiple races not in hazard not a bad hazard i think he's got a pretty good race on him so we'll see if he can catch me here but i would not be mad if he did man i love some challenge i love some heat or mcgeeters oh not the grass here we go it's all right there we go keep her in Oh, he's on the 450, so that means something. That means he's got the speed, but does he have the consistency? That's all that's gonna matter here. Wipe my face. Holy moly, donut shop. Now, if you are looking at my controller and you have any questions asking, like, why am I using X and triangle to uh, shift? Because I do use paddles and I am using a scuff controller. Also, I don't have any throttle control, so if you guys are first. If no one knows, like, or you guys are new and this is your first time seeing one of my videos, yeah, I don't have throttle control because it's either all or none. I have the hair triggers on, so it means, like, it's literally clicking a mouse. So I don't get, like, that luxury of, like, halfway down, pulled through uh, corners. So I low-key, low-key perfected it just a bit. I mean, I still have trouble at times, but I feel like for the most part, me and, me and the controller is within one, so... And shout out to Kuda. He's got a two second freaking gap. Well, I got a two second gap. He's slowly but surely catching up on me. That 450 is dangerous. But is it enough to defeat Mr. Electric? It's going to have to keep it tight. It's going to have to keep it tight. Going to have to like actually execute everything, man. He's right there jumping the gun. Now, he may be able to get close, but we call this jet for list, baby. When he starts getting close, they start getting a little scared. It's a Chase Sexton 101 who might crash a little bit as he gets close to me. He might be breathing down my neck hair and uh, oh, that hot ass breath. I can't take it, <laughs> but we're good. We're good. We're cruising for a bruising. We can keep that two second gap, two to three second. I know he's probably going to get some good time here on the straightaway, so we got to really push and pee. Boom, get a nice little shave in. Up top, Sandrica, poof. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I know he's gonna catch me here soon, so we gotta hope for that the inconsistency is in route. Right now, he is hauling booty hole. Gotta leave him drier than a Popeye's biscuit though back there. There we go, Ugh, don't hit the tough block. No slide out, no slide out. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. See how I keep tapping there? It's because if I stay on it the whole time, I'm going to slide out. And right there, you would usually be like half, half, like maybe 50% on your throttle. I can't do that. But Kuda Makuda is on my stuff. Akuna Makuda Tata. Huh. Maybe cut in right here. Nice and easy. He's coming. You on the TM? Is that the TM 450? All right, he finally was able to catch me. Lap four to three. Holy moly, donut shop. Ugh. Just gonna have to cut off the angles. But we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. I feel like that's the 450 Yami. It is, he slides out, he slides out, he's nervous. Knees weak, arms are heavy, he's vomit on a sweater already. Mom spaghetti. Ooh, easy. Come on. Got to keep it nice and tight. We got to we gotta execute where he's not going to be able to. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of OJ, but we're okay. 
It's gonna take- Oh, you- You know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He is on the Yamaha. Shout out to MTN Austin for that freaking amazing gear skin. He did- He is rocking it. Well, now we gotta play a little bit of catch up. He was able to catch me on the 450, but that's okay. As always, ladies and gentlemen, podium or top- Podium or top 10. As long as we get them points, that's all that matters right now. Now, Lapper's gonna come into play here, and he's on a two-shoker. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully, I can get some justice. Two-shoker takes Kuda Matata out. Oh, he goes down! Ladies and gentlemen, looks like Uzma Kappa lives to see another day! I don't know why Monster University is in my head. Yo, he is sliding and gliding, baby. You know the rules! Gotta leave him drier than a Popeye's biscuit, though. Kuda, Kuda. Barracuda Manspray. You guys remember that? Big Time Rush? Remember when James used the Barracuda Manspray in Big Time Rush? If you guys are that. You guys remember Big Time Rush at all? That boy freaking puffed up like Mrs. Puff from Spongebob. No. Almost a little spaghetti hands. It's another 450? No, it's not. Poop Stinky Winky. Shout out to that guy. Where did he go? Too easy. The consistency from the KTM and the Huskies. I'm the sender. I feel it. I felt it. I felt it. I had to slow down just a bit, but we're gone. X game mode. I have to. I have to slow up. I feel like he's gonna take me. It's okay. We'll slow up again right here. Come on, baby. You know the vibes. Easy peasy. Last slap cheese, baby. First it was a 450, now it's a 250 KTM. Shout out to Poop Stinky Winky. What a name. You see this video, you're an absolute goddess, god, whatever. Girl guy. Cut a little bit. Spray down that cheese. Cinder cut. Here we go. Here we go. Get the triple in. Yes, sir. Double. Double. Ladies and gentlemen, it's crunch time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's crunch time. I mess up just a bit there. Just a bit. I got a four fatty on my back. No! <laughs> and I cream myself. Wait, pause. Ladies and gentlemen, I messed up in the last one. Went over the went over the handlebars. Can we at least keep a second place closure? KTM goes down. Wait a second. Last section cheese. Oh, get away from me! Not gonna be able to secure the bag, but I believe. Ah, oh, damn. Hey, hey, that's all we asked for, ladies and gentlemen. That is all we asked for. That was it, right there, man. Yo, good race, poopy stinky. If you see this later, man, GG, baby, GG. Other than that, that's the end of the video, man. Yo, GG, Kuda, GG, Kuda. Yo, other than that. That's all I have for you today, man. Episode 4 was a banger. Winchester, we got it knocked out. Other than that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and I'll catch you in the absolute next one. Pa-pa-pa-pa-peace!